Emergency teams in Kamaran Mirage work urgently to free Elena Olmez. The 17-year-old spent 248 hours trapped in the rubble of a collapsed building. More than 10 days after the earthquake struck, her rescue on Thursday is a miracle. But scenes like this have become the exception, with most search and rescue teams finding bodies. Here in Antakya, the news is grim as family members wait to identify the deceased. God willing, we'll get her out and bury her, and then we'll see what we have to do. As teams continue to search the rubble, earthquake survivors are in desperate need of humanitarian aid and medical care. Half of the patients have traumatic injuries as a result of being caught in collapsed buildings. The other half have problems related to the cold weather, which causes skin problems, flus and colds. In Hatay, a mix of Turkish and international teams work together to deliver hot meals, clothes and blankets to those in need. As the focus now shifts from rescue to reconstruction and support for the displaced, NATO has promised its help. NATO is now setting up temporary housing for thousands of displaced uh, people. In addition, NATO will also use our strategic airlift capabilities to transport tens of thousands of tents to Turkey in the coming days and weeks. The Red Cross is warning the humanitarian crisis caused by the quake will continue for months and has launched an appeal for more assistance.